Hello guys! Probably you are watching this video because you want to know how to become a social media manager without any experience in it. So, ang masasabi lang kung expert ka sa Facebook, kung mahilig ka mag-Instagram, kung marunong ka mag-TikTok, mahilig ka gumamit ng Twitter, at kung ano pang social media dyan, kung alam mo kahit isa dyan, then pwedeng-pwede ka maging social media manager. So, Kung gusto mo yon at gusto mong matuto kung paano, please keep on watching. I will share to you the five steps I created and how to become a social media manager even if you don't have any experience at all. So before we dive in, I would like to introduce myself first. I'm Susie and I create contents about work from home, productivity, self-development, and freelancing lifestyle. So if you like those kind of topic, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button down below so that you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. So before I dive into the five steps and how to become a social media manager i want you to know what is a social media manager and ano yung pinagkaiba niya sa engager and marketer so first i will talk about social media engager social media engager is basically nag engage ka lang talaga nag reply ka ng dms nag reply ka ng comments or ng tweets yung mga queries yung mga ganun mostly engaging with your fans with the commenters or yung mga nagsishare liking their posts liking their comments responding to their queries yung mga ganun lang basically nag engage ka lang talaga etong social media manager is parang next level lang siya sa engager kasi yung social media manager it consists a lot of tasks na like creating and scheduling contents so it means ikaw yung gagawa ng caption ikaw yung gagawa ng graphics ikaw yung gagawa ng video if gusto ng video ng client ikaw din mag engage of course kasali na din yung engagement like ikaw yung mag response sa dm sa comments and kasali na din dito yung magbibigay ka ng analytic reports ano ba yung analytics report so ito lang yung basically yung numbers na makikita mo or yung metrics na makikita mo na nag-grow talaga yung social media accounts niya yan yung mga couple of things na ginagawa ng social media manager pero hindi, hindi pa yan lahat ha at ito lang yung mga overall na parang ibahan ng engager, manager, at marketer. The third thing is parang level up siya konte ng manager. So, that's marketer. Ang role naman nito is magbebenta or magpupush talaga ng products or services or events. The purpose of marketer is to sell something. Dapat may conversion. Yung manager, parang parang ang ano lang niya is for brand awareness lang. Para lang makilala yung ano. Wa hindi talaga sila nagbebenta or walang conversion na ang focus niya is hindi maka-convert. Parang for brand awareness lang. Ito kasing marketer, parang ang focus talaga niya is magbenta parang focus niya is mag-convert para may sales. Kadalasan, ginagawa ng mga social media marketer, um, sila yung nag-handle ng Facebook ads, sila yung nag-reach ng mga influencers, sila din yung mga nag ng Instagram ads, lahat ng ways para maka-market or makabenta or magka-sales. Yun yung purpose ng marketer. So, ang small businesses, yung mga small businesses lang, parang hindi naman talaga siya malaking business. Yung mga small businesses lang, mostly, nag lang sila ng tao, pero ikaw na yung lahat. Ikaw na yung engager, ikaw na yung manager, ikaw na yung marketer. Pero yung mga big businesses na, or mga big entrepreneurs na, nag sila ng iba-iba. Iba yung engager, manager, and marketer. So, I have one client right now na engager lang ako. Bali, nag-reply nag lang talaga ako sa mga comments and mga direct messages. Meron din akong client na ako lahat. Ako yung nagmamarket. <laughs> ako yung manager. Ako yung engager. So, it depends lang sa client mo kung ano talaga yung ipapagawa niya. But then, most likely, nakakalan tayo ng mga projects na mga small businesses pa. So, ikaw talaga yung gumagawa ng lahat. Even if beginner ka pa lang, alam mo talaga dapat yung Facebook ads, Facebook chatbot, yung mga ganun. Hindi naman talaga necessary. Yung mga basics lang na na ginagawa ng social media manager. So, you know now the difference between engager, manager, and marketer. So, we will now head on to the five steps on how to become a social media manager even if you don't have any experience. So, the first step is to identify your target audience and niche. So, ito yung dapat alam mo kung ano yung target mo na client. So, for example, gusto mo ng foods. 
gusto mo ng baking, yung mga ganun. So, mas maganda na kunin mo ng mga clients, first clients mo, is yung within sa passion mo, yung within sa hobbies mo, para mas madali kang maka-create ng caption, mas madali kang maka-create ng image, kasi alam mo siya, mismo sa self mo eh. Mas madali din kasi gumawa ng mga engaging post and engaging graphics if you yourself is gusto din yung mga ganun. So, for example, pwede na i-target natin is entrepreneurs, small business owners, and coaches. Pwede din mga online course creators. You can also target the businesses. Kung mahilig ka sa sports, you can also target the business na yung binibenta nila is sports. Or mga coaches na sa sports, like coach sa basketball or coach even sa fitness. Kung gusto mo ng, gusto mo ng mga fitness kind of thing or mahilig ka dyan, nag-gym ka or nag-yoga or whatever, kumuha ka ng target clients mo na within sa gusto mo or sa hilig mo or sa habis mo. In that way, mas madali ka makaka-create ng engaging contents. Kasi yun yung main thing eh. Yun yung main thing na, na iha-hire ka para magkaroon ng engagements yung social media accounts nila. So, the more na alam mo yung niche or alam mo yung kung ano yung ibebenta nila, mas madali kang makaka-create ng engaging content to that specific client. So, again, first thing, you should know your target clients and your target niche. So, the second thing is to create your own online business presence. So, ano ba to? Ito yung gagawa ka ng own account mo, yung business page mo talaga. So, for Facebook, you can create a Facebook page. For Instagram, you can create your own business account sa Instagram mo. And for LinkedIn, yan kasi yung tatlo na mararecommend ko talaga na pwede yung masend sa client niya yung Instagram account niyo business Instagram page kasi ako meron akong page for business talaga, meron akong page for personal lang. Kasi some of my friends might not want the content na i-share ko sa personal so I really made something na for business lang at kadalasan na mga nagpa-follow din dun is yung mga clients ko and yung mga nag-work from home din. Iba yung iba din yung page ko sa personal na doon ko pinopost yung wala naman talaga ang kinalaman sa work ko. So, you can also create a LinkedIn. Yung sabi ko kanina na maganda din siya. And then, Facebook page. Siguro, I will create a tutorials on how to create those accounts. Maybe LinkedIn. Comment nyo nga kung ano yung gusto nyo. LinkedIn, Instagram business account, or Facebook page ba yung gusto nyo. Comment nyo down below kung ano yung mas prefer nyo na i-teach ko. Or kung ano yung mas kailangan nyo ng guide on how to do that. Why? Bakit ba kailangan pa ng ganun? Kasi, kung ako yung client, Mangingi talaga ako ng sample mo. Patingin nga ng Instagram mo, patingin nga ng Facebook mo, patingin nga ng LinkedIn mo, para makita ko din, ah, okay, ito yung mga gawa niya. So, it will be your instant portfolio. I will say, ha, na if you are a social media manager, hindi talaga kailangan na magkaroon ka ng website. Kailangan lang na magkaroon ka ng portfolio na pwede mong ipakita kay clients mo na, oh, ito, nagawa ko to. Yung mga list of social media accounts na na-handle mo na. And isa na dun, yung isa mo, yung sa self mo. Of course, dapat, since ganyan yung work mo, dapat din mapa-feel niya din sa kanya na the reason why I'm good at it, kasi maganda nga yung social media ko eh, di ba ganun? Kasi yun yung magiging task mo sa client mo. Dapat ma magkaroon din sila ng bigger online brand presence. So, yeah. That's the second one. Create your own online brand presence. So, the third thing is that you need to rate your service. So, sa mga beginners pa, you can create a package for your service. Like for example, let's say for $200 per month you will do a one month content at least one post per day for two or three social media accounts ng client mo and then let's say you will schedule that one you will create the graphics and the caption and you will also do the engagement like what i have said kanina kung ano yung engagement dapat ikaw yung magre-reply na dms yung pms yung comments yung mga ganun and you can also create an analytic report at least twice a month for all the social media sites that you are handling. And then, um, that's it. $200 per month. You can start from that. Or it's really up to you guys if 
tingin nyo malaki lang yan siya para sa task clients nyo. Kung sa tingin nyo malaki lang siya sa task clients nyo, you can adjust your rate based to your own preference. And then yeah, you can also provide or rate your service per hour. And mostly, ang um, mga biddings na sa average ng $5 per hour. But again, it's still up to you if you want to bid higher or lower than that since you are still starting. And that's mostly the, the common rate that I can see kung ano yung mga biddings nila for social media management. Pero yung, yung 200 guys, that is just for task clients ha. Hindi talaga yan yung tamang rate. Bali, mababa na yan, discounted na yan. Kasi mostly nakikita ko around 350 to up talaga yung social media management. That is just for two social media. And then twice or thrice a week of posting. Yeah, mostly yan yung great na you can start from if you don't have any experience. Well guys, I'm saying ha, talaga this video is for beginners or no experience. If you have experience already managing social media accounts, then you can bid higher. Make sure lang na meron kayong mapakita na sample na ginawa nyo para at least man lang si client makakita na, ah okay, so her worth is ganto kasi meron na siyang mga na-handle na successful social media accounts ngayon. So that's the third thing you should rate your service. So for the fourth step, you can find your clients na. So since alam mo na yung target clients mo, alam mo na yung niche mo na gusto, tapos nakagawa ka na ng online presence, either sa three, it's up to you. Hindi naman talaga necessary na talagang yun talagang Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook. It's up to you kung gusto mo lang mag-focus sa Instagram, it would be okay. Kung gusto mo lang talaga mag-focus sa Facebook page, okay lang. It's up to you guys. And then the third thing, is to rate your service. Kung meron na kayong rate na ginawa and meron na kayong nakastick na kayo sa per hour nyo or yung service nyo na per package, that's already good. Now, you can find your clients. I've already talked this topic on this video. You can check that one. So, on that video, I talked about getting test clients like yung mga friends or family na my business, you can ask them na, hey, can I manage your Facebook page or your Instagram? Para ma-practice ko yung social media skills ko. And you can pay me just even a little lang or may ibibigay ako na discount rate para sa iyo. But then, yung gagawin ko is for a full month para makita natin yung analytics kung nagtaas ba siya or the same lang. And if ever nagustuhan mo yung pag manage ko ng social media accounts, mo, sa business mo, eh, pwede na tayong, after a month, pwede na tayong mag-increase ng rates and I will continue working on your social media accounts. So, pwede ganun. And, again, yung task clients is ito yung mga discounted rates clients na ito kasi yung part na itetest mo pa yung mga gagawin mo if the content that you're creating is working, if the caption is working, if the engagement talaga is nag increase ba. Marami kang mga aha moments during sa task clients mo. So, you can get task clients also sa mga third-party platforms. So, message me down below if you want a list of third-party platforms, Facebook groups, and agencies na pwede kayong makakuha ng mga social media management na projects. So, after getting your task clients, so, marami ka na niya mga aha moments. Yung mga matutunan mo, ah, okay, mas madali pala tong gamitin na scheduler. Ah, okay, pag ganto pala yung ipopost, mas marami palang mga engagements. Basta isi-share ko pala siya sa groups, mas marami yung engagements na makukuha ko from the page. Ah, okay, pag ganto pala yung gagawin ko, mas madaling tataas yung likes ng Facebook page ko. So, yung mga ganun, magkakabuild ka na ng flow or system sa social media management. So, it would be easier for you to on onboard clients. It would also be easier for you to know the tools that you are going to use. So, after getting test clients, now you are now going to go to the fifth step, which is you should create your own system. What do you mean by system? So, yung flow lang. It would be easier na for you to get another client's gate, gate, get premium clients because marami ka ng mga natutunan from your test clients. So, make sure na na perfect mo na yung flow. Dapat nalaman mo na yung yung ano yung mostly yung mga struggles mo in handling social media accounts sa mga clients mo dapat alam mo na kung paano mag-onboard onboard ng mga clients ano yung mga questionnaires na isesend nyo kay clients and things na dapat nyo malaman before kayo 
maka start na mamanage sa account niya. Ano yung mga kailangan mo pang gawin or kailangan mong makuha ng mga files sa kanya before ka maka-start on managing his or her own accounts. So, ano ba yung create a system? Ano ba yung system? So, simple lang. Yung system is yung ano yung Ano yung flow mo pag onboard ng clients? Ano yung flow mo to create your one month content? Ano yung mga tools na gagamitin mo para maka-create ka ng mga contents mo for your clients? So maybe you are asking right now, ano ba yung mga tools, tools na mga pinagsasabi mo suy? So, ito, 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 ito. Ilan lang yan sa mga social media content scheduler na pwede nyo gamitan para makaschedule kayo ng mga contents. Pero don't worry kung wala pa kayong idea about dyan kasi I will create a video on how to use that. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel here and click nyo yung bell button para ma-notify kayo pag na-upload ko na yung video na yun. Ano ba yung mga design? Ano ba yung mga reports na kailangan mong ibigay kay clients? So for sure, those because of those test clients, malalaman mo yan. So, makaka-create ka na sa 5 steps, which is to perfect your system. In that case, kung na, na-late out mo na talaga lahat yung mga kailangan ng clients, so that would be a great start to get premium clients or yung mga mas, mas makaka-rate ka na ng mas malaki or yung nasa tama na or mas further pa niyan. So, yeah. Just always make sure na kung may mga test clients ka, always make sure to screenshot the the account before mo pa siya na-handle at saka every week na progress mo. Dapat makita mo, dapat makita mo doon kung ano yung top 3 na most engaging post. Bakit kaya ito yung maraming engagement? Ano kayong dahilan? Bakit marami siyang engagement? Napansin ko ako in handling social media. Napansin ko, the more it is nakakatawa, the more siya mas maraming engagement. And marami siyang shares. Kung informative siya, marami siyang save or sinisave siya. Kung informative. Pero kung yung mga nakakatawa, marami engagements and shares. And... Yeah, yung mga motivational quotes, yung mga gano'n din, marami din siyang engagements and shares. Pero hindi masyadong shares. Yung mga nakakatawa talaga, yun yung, <laughs> yung, yun yung mga mas maraming ano. So, yeah, balik ko lang the first step. Dapat, you can identify your target clients and yung gusto mo na niche. The second one, mag-create ka ng own online brand portfolio mo sa Instagram, sa Facebook page, or sa LinkedIn. And then, the third one is rate your service. Either it's per package or per hour. And number four, you should start looking for clients. And number five, perfect your system. So, that's pretty much the five steps on how to become a social media manager even if you don't have any experience. And guys, please subscribe to this channel if naka-help yun sa'yo. Kasi I will be doing a series for the social media management and probably the next post that I'm going to share with you or the video that I'm going to share with you is how to create an online brand presence using social media accounts. So, yeah. So, before I end this video, I would like to share with you the outputs na ginawa ng mga boss babes and bosses inside my group. Check this out. If you want to be featured as well, join ka lang sa group natin. I'm ready to boss up by Buxui. Meron ka lang fifila pa na four questions there. And yeah, I will accept you for sure. And also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram account at Brixui and sa Facebook natin na Boss Up. So yeah, see you on my other social media accounts and see you on my next video. Bye!